What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my opinions on Crazy Bins and a couple items that I picked up from Crazy Bins recently that I'm really excited and I should be able to make some great profit for. So let's get right into this. <music> So for those of you that don't know what Crazy Bins is, it is basically an Amazon, Costco, Walmart, basically any retail store, an online retail store, return store, which is amazing. So they take all of their returns, they send it to these places, and they do sell them. Now, keep in mind that not everything that you're going to find there is going to be great deals. Some stuff is going to be junk, some stuff might be broken, some stuff might not work. So definitely electronics and different things like that definitely check out before you buy and most places do allow you to do that as long as you do that up near the cash and you make sure everything's there and it works they will let you do that but not all do so keep that in mind and ask questions before opening stuff up the restock day is on saturday every item that day is 25 dollars now each day thereafter the prices do go down little by little five dollars each day normally so the day after is going to be twenty dollars then fifteen then ten then five then it's going to go down to three. Then it's going to go down to one dollar the day before the restock day. Just remember that they only restock once a week. So if you go later in the week, a lot of the great items are not there. But just keep in mind, even if you go on the $25 day, there's going to be some items that are worth $200 plus. There's going to be some items that are definitely going to be worth it, whether you're buying for yourself or to resell but not everything in the bins are. There's a lot of junk, a lot of stuff that's only worth about $5 or less that's thrown into these bins and some stuff is broken or not working. So you definitely want to check out and be very cautious when going to these places before making any kind of purchase. So with that all being said, and now that I've explained what Crazy Bins is, let's start off with what I recently purchased from going three times to Crazy Bins. So the first time that I went, the first day that I went was the day after the restock day. So the $20 day. And I went just to experience it, see what it's all about. I didn't know if it was going to be a store or a place to buy items to resell, a place that was really for me. But it was, and I absolutely love Crazy Bins now, and I definitely plan on going back at least once a week to find more items to be able to resell. But going on the $20 day, I just didn't know what to expect. But I did manage to pick up this pair of mud flaps that sells for about $75 to $80 on eBay. So right now I did pick that up for $20. It is 12 inches by 36 inches, I believe. And it is brand new sealed. It has all of the hardware to install it still sealed in the bag. This is brand new, which I thought was amazing. Right now, I don't know how I would ship this item. It's just very, very large. But if it does sell on eBay, I will have to obviously figure that out. And I'll update you guys in the fit in the future how to do that. But for paying $20 for an item that I might be able to flip for $80 is definitely a great item and a great feeling to find something like this in the bin. The next time that I went was on a $5 day and I was solely going back to see if some of the items that I seen on the $20 day were still there. And out of the five items that I seen on the $20 day that I decided to wait on, only two of them were still there on the $5 day, which still is awesome. And the first item is this fishing rod carrying bag that is brand new. It sells on eBay and Amazon for about $60. I decided to list it on eBay for about $65. That way I can, um, negotiate price and lower it a little bit but on facebook marketplace and selling it locally i don't have to deal with shipping or anything i decided to list it for 50 dollars because that's something that's hopefully in the spring even i'll be able to sell it probably quicker so even if i hold on to it for now and sell it later on it's something that fishing and outdoors stuff really does sell in my area locally and the second item that i went back on the five dollar day and purchased was this two pack of chainsaw blades from the brand oregon this one here sells for about $45 on eBay, which is what I seen on the $20 day, but I definitely didn't want to pay $20 for it. So I went back, it was still there on the $5 day, and I thought that was a great deal for $5, something that I seen does sell quite a bit, and it sells consistently for $45. 
paying five dollars for it i thought that was a great deal why not risk it and i thought it was honestly a great item so since i've been having so much fun going to the bins and digging through and finding items that i should be able to resell and it makes some pretty great profit for, I decided to wake up very early on the restock day and be one of the first ones in. And I absolutely loved it. Whenever I went in, everything was fully restocked. The bins were extremely full and I just was having so much fun with this. I did pick up this screwdriver nut driver set. It was, I think a six or seven piece set, brand new, still sealed, never opened, which was amazing. I found it. I started to, to look up sold comps and it sells consistently on eBay for about $100 and I was paying $25 for it since it was the $25 day. So I thought paying $25 for it, selling it for $100, making $75 profit before fees and shipping. I thought to me that was a great deal. So I decided to pick that item up. Now, while I was there on the restock day, I was shocked whenever I seen somebody that was to me ruining it for everybody else. Now this guy here was, at first I didn't notice, but later on I did catch on of what he was doing. He was grabbing things out of the bins and piling them up into a corner uh, away from everybody so nobody could see these items. Then he was going and browsing and digging through the items, uh, digging through the bins a little bit more. Then he went back and crouched down and basically hid from the employees and started to scan the items one by one and anything that he didn't want to buy that day or thought was not worth it, he just threw back into the bin. So if it wasn't broken before, it definitely was now. And then he did manage to pick up a few things, but what really caught my eye and really kind of pissed me off was whenever I seen him stashing items underneath the bins for obviously to come back later in the week when it's a cheaper day. Obviously, if you're going to these bin stores, you're not gonna think to look under the bins because everything that's supposed to be in the bins is supposed to be in the bins. So he was literally stashing stuff to come back and pay a cheaper price later in the week. And obviously nobody would see it because it was stashed and hidden there. So I seen this. I went and managed to go and tell the owner, obviously I was gonna do that because this ruins the fun for everybody. These bin stores, you can find great deals, you can make good profit if you're a reseller, but going and doing stuff like this, it ruins it for everybody. So as I was telling the owner, he did go and already had cashed out his wife, uh, who also works there, the owner's wife, didn't realize what was going on, cashed him out and he was already on his way. So I missed it just by a couple minutes. That was unfortunate, but what I am excited for is something that I ended up seeing that he stashed. I ended up picking that up for myself. While he was still there, I put it in my bag because if you're not gonna buy it and you're just gonna put it back and hide it, obviously it's not in your bag, I'm allowed to purchase it. So that's what I did. And it was a seven piece impact socket sets i opened it up everything is brand new in the bags all the sockets nothing has been used which means it's brand new now i looked it up it sells for about 40 to 50 dollars so paying 25 dollars was definitely a hit but i knew i could sell it locally probably quicker than i could on ebay i know working at canadian tire in the automotive section the mechanics if they have to buy a single socket they pay from snap-on and these other places that just come and deliver the tools they pay about $20 per socket. So if I sell it locally, if it's seven piece set and they're the large sockets, hopefully I'll be able to sell the whole set for $50. So that's what I did. I listed on Facebook Marketplace and Kijiji for about $50. Now, before he did leave and before I did notice all this was happening, I did see him go up to the cash and was saying that an item that he had in his cart, uh, in his bag, sold comps on it were $750. He said it was used, so he wanted it cheaper than $25. And the owner refused because it was a $25 day. Every item in the bins was $25, so he refused. Now, this item here, unfortunately, he was not able to go and stash it because the owner was literally watching, watching him. He brought it to the cash, so he literally had to go and just place it in one of the bins. Me, I ended up going and going back to it, this is before everything else went down, before I seen he was hiding stuff and everything. I ended up grabbing it. I looked up sold comps for myself, nowhere near $750. I looked up sold comps for this thing, brand new, about $200 to $230. Now, he was claiming to the owner that it was used, so he wanted it cheaper. That didn't obviously fly with the owner. I looked at it. I decided for $25, I was going to risk it. And it was this circuit breaker right here. I thought, why not risk it for $25 for a potentially $200, uh, sorry, $175 potential profits? 
why not risk it? I know risking things like that isn't for most resellers. That's obviously why this guy didn't buy it, but I wanted to risk it. Now, it obviously wasn't the sold comps that he was trying to say and he was looking up, nowhere near $750, but $200, that is still some pretty good money for a $25 gamble. Whenever I got home, I looked at it a little bit more and to the best of my ability, this looks like it is brand spanking new. All the screws that attach it to whatever you're screwing it onto are brand new sealed in the bag. All of the information is there. There's a booklet for it and everything looks like it's there. I looked it up to see what's included and all of the parts look like it's there. This thing looks brand new, but obviously I can't sell it on eBay as brand new. I had to sell it as new open box. So that's what I have it listed for. Right now I have it listed for $210. Um, and I'm willing to come down a little bit for that because again, I only paid $25 for this item. So even if I list it for or end up selling it for $175, that's still $150 profit for this item. So I'll let you guys know in the future when this item does sell, how much I sold it for and the profit that I did make, it was still worth $200. And that just proves that going First thing in the morning on the restock day, you can find items that are worth $200 plus. I did see another guy that was a really nice guy, a really nice guy to talk to. He found this, I think it was a food processor or something, a name brand one. All the parts were there. He tested it there. It works. That thing sells for $250 and he paid $25 for it. So definitely going to these bin stores. You can make money as a reseller. You can find stuff for yourself if that's what you want to do with these places. But you, it's just a matter of digging through and finding the items that are worth the money. So I definitely plan on going back. I think the uh, Crazy Bins, at least this Crazy Bins location is amazing. I went to Quick Picks, didn't enjoy it, and I know I will not be back. It was just way too large, too crowded, a lot more junk. So I know I'm not going back to that one, but Crazy Bins... This location I'm going to, and once they open up the larger location here in Ottawa, I want to at least check it out and give it a chance, but I'm definitely going to be going back and making this one that is the smaller one my main location. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, me sharing through my experience going to Crazy Bins and sharing through the items that I picked up from Crazy Bins. I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.